Hey, welcome back to the uh, uh, chimney framing part three. Chimney framing part three. I want to show you something really quick here before I get. Uh, if I go PI, select all these walls one, two, two, three, four, and move them. Control C, Control V, stick them over there. Get rid of this doorway right there. You can see the chimney right there, right? Now, if I select this this again, Control C, go up a level. And I only go up a level and do it. Uh, put uh, the walls on the second floor. So they show up on the second level. Uh, there are other ways to do it, of course, uh, reference layer sets and stuff. But look what just happened here. Uh, oh, it didn't work this time. Oh, it didn't work. And the, uh, before I'd done this, what happened was, uh, well, let me try it on this side. What happened before was uh, uh, PI. One, two, three, four. Four, control C, go over here, control V, stick it there, go up a little, I'm already at, at that level. Zero, six. I don't know what I just did. Delete. Up here. Take the walls, PI. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Th this is what I wanted to show you. Control C, I'm on the second level, go down, zero, six. Oh, I messed it up. And and, and 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 this is what I was getting at is is that is that I think this chimney goes. Oh no, it doesn't go through. It stop. Uh, it stops. One time I had done this, and the the I didn't have to hit the F twelve button, and the chimney was going through. I mean, the chimney was going through, and once I hit the F twelve button, the roof above would knock this ch chimney on the second floor down, which makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, PI. Let's just do one more. Yeah, this is the one I want to do. One, uh, two, three, four. Now I bet if I take these three walls, Control C, go up a level zero six. Ah, the roof stopped it again. I, at one time it didn't. Uh, it didn't stop it. Go up one more level. Zero six. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. This is built, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. So, so anyway, I was just playing around. Anyway, th th these these chimneys that I built right here are actually pretty simple. I, I I understand how those work. I think these are the chimneys that I've always had problems with, and of course these are prefabricated fireplaces that I'm dealing with right now. And this one built very well. I think I did that on the other part. That one built very well. Uh, uh, H H. Did that build? Yeah, that built. Uh, I got a little something showing through here, I guess. But I've always had troubles with these, and and you know, I, I talked about not not dragging these walls down, and uh, yeah, I dragged the whole room down. Not dragging dragging the walls down. I don't like to co control it by uh, Control Z. Come on, uh, tab. Get the and just drag this down. I think Kurt talked about this, and I don't like to do that because I I can. I just don't like to do it. Uh, structure, go to, you can, the, the point is, if you have a room on the second floor with these chimney flues, you can control these chimney flues simply by selecting the room. I'm, I'm on the second, so I get on the second level. Second level is right here. Tab, U, U. And I, I think I already showed you this too, or I already did this. Uh, the rough ceiling is uh, uh, 150. Yeah, and see it went up. That's how I control it. And then you put a cap on and stuff. But now let's do this chimney right here. Let's do this chimney right here. One. Well, that's the same as the other one, isn't it? That's the same as that's the same as this one here. All right, let me try this one. Let me try this one right here. Uh BH. BH. Take this one, two, three, four. Control C, go up a level, zero, six, paste it in place. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. I had so I've had so many problems with these stupid things and now I'm now I'm I'm a whiz at it. What's the problem with this man? Why why isn't this working? Isn't that weird? Maybe actually I was putting these these I was putting these chimneys and they weren't actually on room uh, they were actually on the attic level. You think I do? <laughs> Maybe that's what I was doing. I never realized what I was doing. But what's the big what's the big poop here, man? This is easy peasy stuff. 
I, I, this is so stupid. I, I feel, I feel, I feel like a nitwit. Yeah, F6. Looks like it's framing pretty darn good to me. If I come over to here and I go up to the second floor, am I on the second floor? Yeah, take the second floor, tab, UU, open to below, just make that open to below. <laughs> what, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Or what I'm doing right. What I was doing wrong before. I don't know. Get rid of the ceiling here. Uh, tab, you, you. Get rid of the structure on top, right? Structure. Get rid of those ceiling joists. So you just go to, uh, not that uh, you can have a roof over the ceiling over the but the ceiling structure. Get rid of the ceiling structure. Delete. And now you don't get those that ceiling joists on top, but that's what you're not. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, stop. Stop. Don't stop. HH. Uh, seven, seven, uh, seven, seven, F6. Uh, I want to put a ceiling on that thing, don't I? So, why don't I go up to, I'm on the second level, one, two, three, four. Control C, go up to the third floor. I'm, in fact, I'm going to add a third floor. I'm just going to add a third floor. Uh, delete, uh, add a new floor. Uh, uh, build new floor. Don't derive, it's a blank. Okay. Down to here. This. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm back up to the third level. Back up to the third level. Watch this. One, two, three, four. These walls are U, U, invisible. Uh, where's my invisible, invisible. I want to put a floor on it. Uh, the floor needs to be uh, uh, a structure. Uh, what, what generally, nitwit. No, structure. Oh, I'm talking about walls. Cancel. That's not what I wanted. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. Oh, now I just need to select the room. Did I make him invisible? I didn't make him invisible. Here, here, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, I'm on the third level. Third level. And I've actually got two more levels than I really need because I'm talking about chimneys now. You, you, make these uh, invisible. Perfect. Now they're invisible. This room does not need to have a ceiling structure on it. Delete it. And this floor finish needs to be, I don't need that, delete, and this needs to be, uh, I don't know, what do you want to make it, siding? Uh, S-I-D-I-N-G. S-I, oh, what is that? Oh, shit, I don't know. Okay, fine. But any, anyway, I, I got rid of my ceiling. And I don't have, I don't need a ceiling. Uh, I don't need a ceiling uh, finish either. Edit, delete, delete. What happens if I leave that zero in there? What happens if I leave the zero? Yeah, that, that's gone. Good. Okay, there we go. And now I go uh, and bump, bump, bump. There you go, guys. There you go. And you know what? I was I, I was building my fireplace out of walls on the first level so I could put my, my opening into the fireplace in there and stuff. But the second part, I was simply building out a piece of solids. And, of course, what that would do is it would give me a horizontal line and layout for vector views because it was a piece solid on top of a wall. I just took care of all that on this. I, and I, I swear to God, I do, I do not know what, did you just see what happened there? And that's good. That's good enough. And if you want, you can put a cap on it. Ain't that cool. Ain't that cool. What do you, what do you think? What do you think uh, these things right here are? What do you think those are? Three. I don't know where they came from. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know where they came. Did I put uh, chimneys up on that on the third level there? Oh, because I because I copied a floor and it, it did that stuff. You know, you know what I'm saying, brother. I actually, I could just make these 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 walls right here invisible if I wanted to. You you get rid. I don't do this. You you make these invisible. I think I, think I just found a new way to uh, build ch chimney fireplaces. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know what I'm doing, but 
you, you get the idea. Uh, you, you get the idea. Which one's this? This is this one here. I guess I get rid of that one. Delete. Yeah. And then I, I just don't need a ceiling. I don't need a. I don't need a. On, on this room right here, uh, tab U U. I don't need a ceiling structure. Delete. And I don't need a ceiling finish. Delete. I'm gonna leave that zero. Yeah, and just so you know, this zero. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see. I don't have, I don't have a ceiling finish, right? You, you. Now watch this. Now, I, if I go up to ceiling finish, and I'm gonna give the ceiling finish uh, 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 four, four inches. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this so it's very clear that everybody can see what I'm doing. Four. Okay. Zero. There. Now you see the ceiling finish, don't you? Now watch this. Watch this. You, you. Ceiling finish. I can make it zero, couldn't I? Disappears. But suppose I go, and this is this is something this is something to keep in mind. Sometimes one one twenty eighth. That's about the thinnest you can get it. Okay. One and but. It reads zero, doesn't it? It's one one twenty eighth, but it reads zero. It doesn't deal with fractions, maybe because it's set up in my defaults. But watch this. I think I should get a red, a real thin red thing. Yep, there it is. Now this is this is what what I call the paint layer. If you make that paint layer zero, it's not going to show up. But if you made that paint layer one and one twenty eighth, where a ceiling and a where a ceiling where a slope ceiling. I don't know, let's back up a second. Remember on the, um, you know, sometimes when you look, you, you can see the edge of uh, the drywall and the ceiling, and it, 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 it's a different color than the wall ceiling, and it has a thickness to it, and doesn't wrap around. And I, I've done videos on this. Sometimes if you had a, a real thin paint layer, don't make it zero, but make it one one twenty eighth of an inch. It just, it, it gets you a real clean look. And it's, it's like where, uh, imagine a, a ceiling, uh, a ceiling, runs into a vertical wall you know because you have a high ceiling there a ceiling runs into a vertical wall think about it. Uh, so so the ceiling has a finish and the wall has a finish and one of those finishes is going to be a half inch because it's drywall it's a certain material and you're going to see that thickness but if you put a paint layer on it real thin like this it takes care of it and i gotta tell you i i swear before i even did these videos like two days ago i was trying to do these stupid fireplaces and i couldn't do them and I don't know why I couldn't do it. I really don't. But in my mind, these look pretty dark. Well, that was. So I, and I, someone was asking me about it. Or not asking me, but asking me a general question on how to do this stuff. And it worked pretty good. And what was really interesting about this one is. That wall automatically flipped over. Did you pick that up? This wall automatically is, is not even stacked. It's not stacked on the wall below, actually. Now it is. It wasn't stacked on the wall below, and now it is. I think that's it right there, yeah. Anyway, hey, thanks for asking the question, whoever did, because uh, I'm, I'm not going to use solids anymore for my uh, fireplaces. And you know what's kind of neat about this is watch this uh, a, a H H B cut a section and you're gonna say oh, I, I, my fireplace has to be two foot above my bridge you know we know what that story is right so you draw a horizontal line right here and you know my your ridge is right 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 about there isn't it you you remember this height this is the uh, lines uh, line length angle line length angle. And this, this right there is the actual height above zero. So I go, if I change it to 199, I change it to 199, just so it's just a smidge up. And now I just move it up 24 inches. Uh, move it up 24 inches. I mean, there's no way of doing this, of course, but move it up 24 inches. Now, how, now how high is that right there? How high is that? You, you, come over here, lock that length, 223. Just control C, okay. So what does that mean? That means now I want, which, which section do I cut on this? I don't even know what uh, F6. There's my section. Yeah, right. Oh, perfect. 
So now I can go up to this this right here, a UU, and change the floor to, I think I can change the floor to 123. Can't I? What happens? Oh, it didn't work out very well, did it? <laughs> UU, what's the height? Oh, I got I, I have to move that up 24. Oh, it is up 24 inches. UU. The height of that thing is, oh, it's 223, isn't it? 223. So all I need, now if you're controlling the, the height of your chimney, well, this is an easy way to do it. Just control the floor height, UU, 223. And now I know, yeah, that's exactly, in fact, there it is right there. It's two foot above the ridge. This chimney's two foot above the ridge. What about, uh, what about this one? You you change this change the floor height to two twenty three. Which chimney's in the way? One of these chimneys is in the way. Get rid of all this crap right there. Delete. I get, did I get rid of the wrong one? Control Z. Oh, you know what I'm doing? You, you did it. I'm I'm done. Uh, this this worked out great. Thank you. This worked out. Great. I learned something. I don't know why it was. I don't know why it took seven and a half years for me to learn it, but it did. I'm gonna check something here real quick. You you. Ceiling's defaulted. I just dropped that ceiling down. Is it still working? I guess it's still working, man. I I, I don't I, I I swear I don't know why it's now working and why I had such a hard time before. By the way, this wall right here is not uh, in line. I'm done. End of part three. This is a good one for me.